But to tell you the truth, there was something I just couldn't get out of my head. Compared to what you're trying to do, me fighting a hundred men means nothing. It has no purpose. The two of you have something important that you can stake your lives on. I think it's great. I truly mean that. Compared to the strength of that purpose, whether I face a hundred men in battle or even a thousand seems like nothing but a random act. I started to become uncomfortable in carrying on with that direction because I felt a little lost in that and it was approaching an area that I didn't really feel I belonged in. And so coming to this album, I approached it from how I used to feel about bands when I started. I always go back to, when you get lost, you go back to point one. You have to learn to love yourself before you can allow someone else to do it as well. Right? If you only love yourself at 20%, that means somebody can come along and love you 30% and you're like, wow, that's so much! It's literally less than half. You are all the things that are wrong with you. It's corporations saying, here's what people do when they're healthy. And that creates a tuning fork effect, which is like, if you're watching it enough, you're going to either resonate with it or, and, and feel like, yes, I'm doing great. I have a life and a house and a car and a job and that's great. I'm in tune with what everyone else is doing. Why did you go to the Berkeley School of Music? Because when I was 18, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But you had a natural affinity for music. I, yeah, I was doing music my whole childhood. Because here's the, the awful thing about being an adult. Hey, everyone, listen to this, please. It's really inappropriate to jog around a graveyard. I want to listen to the radio. Don't! Well, even dolphins. <coughs> dolphins commit uh, infanticide. They, they kill babies. They do it on purpose. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule, write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. I don't know if anybody will ever find it. Talking, to keep thinking.